What's up guys, this is my final project and I don't know what the hell I'm going to talk but here's my brother Diego and he's going to try to help me uh, say hello Diego Hello niggas uh, Diego, do you like the Mexican culture? Yeah, I think it's the best culture in the world because it's ours Okay, uh, so let's start with this uh, This is a history of uh, Huichilopochtli, the god of war and the most important uh, god in the Mexican culture uh, according to the myth many 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 years ago Cuatlicue uh, Diego do you know who is she? I don't know who is she but her name sounds interesting okay uh, she is the mother of all the gods godless of fertility of the life okay uh, this godless was pregnant and no one know who is the father so, so she's like a madre, madre luchona y cabrona. Like a Brittany. Yes, like a Brittany. When her daughter, Coyoshausli, godless of the moon, know this, uh, he pissed off and decides to guide her brothers, the stars, to kill his, his mother. Uh, an excessive uh, solution, in my opinion. Um, but when, when they arrived, Cuatlicue uh, gave birth to Huichilopochtli and he born with an armored warrior and a sword uh, and he is ready to defend her, his, mo his mother and Huichilopochtli defeated all his uh, brothers and Coyoshautli was uh, beheaded and threw it down to the mountain so this is the reason that uh, the Coyoshausli was in a big rock. It was a very good story before to get sleep, but you agree, Diego? Yeah, it's a great story. It's similar to Celta mythology. I like it as well. Uh, so, Diego, uh, thank you for stay here. And uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching and so long. See you later, Jesus.